Ladies and gentlemen, girls and boys, uh, thank you for joining us uh, this morning to celebrate the life of a South Sydney legend, whom Russell Crowe once called one of sports, Australian sports' greatest heroes, John William Sattler, best known to the rugby league world, of course, as Sats. Well, we're hoping it'll be a uh, St George loss and a South Sydney victory today, Frank. South to win. Uh, this club, its fans, and the ground become like a second family to Dad when he made the trek to South in 1963 as a, as a young man from Curry Curry who was taken in by the Rabbitoh faithful and he was forever grateful for that. We heard so many stories growing up about this great ground as kids, how visiting teams hated coming here. Just wonderful stuff, you know, it was a great win, the boys all played so well and uh, they were never going to be beaten tonight. And what he stood for as a, as a human being, as a man, as a leader, as a father, a friend, this was a great man, a great role model. I think he's a good icon for today's players. I mean, Cameron epitomises that of the club. He's our captain. Many a time he's ran past and said, I'll just give that bloke a clip for you. And I said, what for? And he said, he, he whacked you back there a couple of rucks ago, you know? And it was like that. He just uh, was a father figure to us. He's a lot older than us. Well, not a lot older, but he's two, two years older than all of us. And um, he just thought he was a father figure and he was the captain and he just looked after his little flock. His spirit and legacy definitely lives on because that's the type of people and players that we want to be here at the club. Yeah, it'll definitely live on forever. He said to me, can you remember we spoke years ago that one day whenever we go, we'd like your ashes spread? I said, yeah. And he said, I'd love to have some, some of my ashes spread on Redfern one day if they would let me. Well, they've let you, Dad, and that's why we're here today to ensure that you always stay part of this ground. I can't imagine these players showing more respect than turning up today after a brutal game last night. To, you'd like them to be part of the spread of the Ashes if absolutely. the boys will join you? Yeah, absolutely. Love the, uh, if the boys, and I think if the staff here are going to guide the boys over to near the, the, the goalposts here. And I, I think it's also fitting that if I could ask uh, Bob and Ron and also George if they all three could come down. I, they knew Dad longer than me, so... <laughs> I think uh, they should play a part in, in ensuring that he's uh, departed correctly. Thank you very much. I think the main thing about it is the team that we had of, of great fellows, not just me leading them, it was the, the ability of the players that, that were around me that used to pull together and, and we just had a very happy time together. And uh, rather than me being doing anything special apart from just doing my job on the field, I thought that our team, and we're still very great mates,